Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is part three on the Garmin 530 for X plane and I thought at this point I should add over here FSX and their Garmin 500. I've always wanted to compare X plane with FSX and I think this is a good opportunity to do that being the first two videos that I did on the 530 were on the radios uh, and the 500 does not have that feature. From now on these features are available what we will be discussing in both programs so I think it's a good time to uh, start my comparison of X-Plane 10 and Microsoft Flight Simulator FX. So we'll start our comparison with the Direct 2 feature. And so we'll click Direct 2 and then we will type in our location and we're going to select Scotts Valley which is A30. Now on X-Plane they want the K first. I don't know why they do that but so it's K three zero and we have Fort Jones Scotts Valley so now let's go over to FSX and one thing about FSX I could not figure out how to clear a waypoint or a direct to when I did this so um, I'm just gonna have to do that now so we're going to go now we're going to go to A three zero. Boy, that just jumped right to it, didn't it? And so we have A three zero and K A three zero, Scotts Valley, Fort Jones, California and we have Fort Jones Scotts Valley it doesn't tell us what state we're in that's interesting so now we hit enter to activate we hit enter again and that's going to give us our desired track and uh, this is our track here so now over here for X plane we're going to click on enter asks us to activate and there we have it. Now I need to unpause the, the program here for just a second to get the track back. So now we have our desired track and this is the track that we're on. So I mentioned earlier I could not clear a flight plan here. In X-Plane if I click flight plan I can go click clear and it asks me if I want to clear it and I'm going to say yes I want to clear it and now the flight plan has gone when I try to do that in Microsoft I hit clear and nothing happens I could not figure out how to undo a flight plan maybe somebody out there knows how to do that it may be possible and I don't know so let's take a closer look at the direct to function when we have a flight plan in the GPS system and we're on this flight plan we're flying from KRDD to Portland Oregon and you can see our waypoints here and we decide we need to change and we want to select a different waypoint so we go direct to use the knobs to put in a new waypoint but let's just say we want to go to a different waypoint in our flight plan we hit the large knob on the right and now when we go to the small knob we will scroll through our waypoints on our way to Portland and we can pick one of those and hit enter and that will be our new waypoint the other thing we can do in direct to is go to the nearest airport and now we hit the large button to go over to nearest and we can scroll through all the airports the nearest airports on this route so that's basically it for Direct2 X-Plane version. Uh, let's take a look now at FSX. We have the same flight plan. We're going from KRDD to Portland, Oregon. 
and we want to change our waypoint on the way. So we go to the direct to and now just like the Garmin 530 and X plane do the same thing. We hit the small uh, knob on the right side to select a new waypoint or we take the big knob and we go down to our flight plan and here we cycle through the waypoints in the flight plan and it's very similar the look is different but the result is the same and for the nearest we use the big knob again we go over to the nearest and we cycle through the nearest option that's basically it for our uh, X-Plane 10530 Direct 2 and the Garmin 500 in FSX. So there's two things I would like to point out before we end this video and that is if you noticed when we were in FSX and we were cycling through our options here when we hit the big knob on the right and we go down we have this option here that we do not have in X-Plane. X-Plane goes right to the flight plan where this is another option and here in FSX we can actually type in an airport or a city name we could type in San Francisco or Chicago or whatever and then do a direct to that so that's a nice option in FSX that's not available in X-Plane. The other thing I want to mention is in X-Plane you can load a flight plan. Um, if you get rid of the cursor up here and you go to the next page, pardon me, to the next page, I have a list of flight plans that I can choose to go to and all I have to do is select the plan hit enter and now that flight plan has been entered. That option is not available through the GPS, the 500 in FSX. You have to go up to flight, flight planner and open up your flight planner and then you can load uh, a flight plan and say OK and then that flight plan can be loaded so those are the two differences that stick out right here so that's it for this video um, I hope you got something out of this uh, if you like this please click the like button uh, please leave a comment if you have any suggestions on uh, things I missed or things that you would like to see next on this I really would appreciate your comments so thank you so much for watching and God bless